Zach Radke. Here at St. John Clark Pain Treatment Center, we've had a lot of success in treating patients with migraine headaches. In this video, I'm going to explain what migraines are and how they differ from tension headaches. I will discuss what causes a migraine and what conventional treatment for migraines consists of. And then I will explain how neurosomatic therapy gets to the root cause of migraines without using medication. Migraines are intense headaches that can cause severe throbbing pain or a pulsing sensation, usually on one side of the head, but can be on both sides. This is frequently accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and an extreme sensitivity to light and sound. Some people even see auras of light and other visual disturbances during a migraine. Migraine attacks can last for hours to days, and the pain can be so severe that it interferes with your daily activities. Headaches that are less severe than migraines are most commonly called tension headaches, and they consist of unpleasant pains in your head that can cause pressure and aching. These usually occur on both sides of your head. Although the aching and pressure of a headache can be severe, the additional symptoms of a migraine do not occur. These tension headaches are usually triggered by stress, anxiety, and muscle strain. Migraine headaches have long been associated with changes in blood flow within the cranium. The idea is that there's too much blood inside the cranium, it builds up too much pressure, which creates a migraine. The predominant thought and treatment for migraines has been to reduce the blood flow coming up into the cranium with medication. Conventional treatment has mostly consisted of medication that does this by limiting the dilation of the cerebral arteries going into the brain. This then limits the blood going into the brain, reducing pressure and migraines. This has been the consistent predominant thought for a long time. However, research has recently begun to look at the venous drainage system of the cranium and how blood leaves the head. Now this is where neurosomatic therapy begins to come into play. Now, when someone is laying on their back like this in the supine position, blood exits the cranium through the jugular vein, which leaves the cranium right here through the jugular foramen, this little hole right here. Now, when someone sits up or stands up and they're upright, the jugular vein collapses and now blood flow is heavily restricted through the jugular vein and blood must leave the cranium now through the venous plexus. And the venous plexus exits the cranium through the foramen magnum, which is this very large hole at the base of the cranium here. I'm gonna show you guys on another model here. It's a little easier to see. So here is the foramen magnum, this very big hole at the base of the cranium. And the venous plexus exits the cranium through this foramen magnum, and then it becomes the vertebral veins. And the vertebral veins run down right alongside each of these vertebra of the neck here. And on the side of each of these vertebra is a little hole. And together, these holes form a channel called the transverse foramen. Now there's three vertebral veins that run down through this transverse foramen, and along with them is one vertebral artery which runs up through this transverse foramen, bringing blood up into the head. And these three vertebral veins are very thin and small and weak. And this one vertebral artery is very big and thick and strong. And what we see in the vast majority of our patients with chronic migraines, is a distortion in the top two vertebra of the neck here, C1 and C2. And typically what we'll see is a rotational distortion where these two vertebra, C1 and C2, are rotating against each other like this. And what this rotational distortion does is it puts a lot of pressure here at the top of the transverse foramen. And this pressure is enough pressure to collapse the three small, thin, weak vertebral veins but it's not enough pressure to collapse the big, thick, strong vertebral artery. And so what this does is it limits the blood exiting the cranium. It doesn't leave as quickly as the blood coming up into the cranium. And this causes blood and pressure to build up in the head, creating a migraine. Now, neurosomatic therapists are trained to measure and assess these two vertebrae here, C1 and C2, for any distortions and to correct those distortions. It's really quite simple and easy for us to do. However, we must also take a look at the entire body as a whole because postural distortions throughout the body can place pressure
pressure and stress on these vertebra, causing this distortion to return. In order to stabilize C1 and C2 in the correct position and keep it there, we must take a look at the rest of the body as well. Something in particular that we frequently found with rotational distortions up here in C1 and C2 are large rotational patterns of the torso. And that looks like this here. Someone standing with their hips straight and then their torso turned off to one side. This pattern, along with all other postural distortions, can be created in many ways, including trauma, repeated and poor postural habits, and structural inequalities such as a short leg. A neurosomatic therapist is trained to find the postural distortions that are the root cause of your pain and dysfunction, and they're also trained to correct these distortions using safe, effective, and non-invasive methods. And if you suffer from tension headaches instead of migraines, neurosomatic therapy can help you as well. Again, we measure and analyze your entire body looking for postural distortions that could be putting stress and tension on your cervical spine and the muscles of the neck here that have trigger point referral patterns up into the head. Now, once these postural distortions are corrected and the stress and the tension is taken out of these muscles of the neck, the trigger points will dissipate and the headaches will go away. So, if you suffer from migraines or tension headaches, neurosomatic therapy can help you. If you're interested, we would love to help you. Please just give us a call at 727-347-HEAL. That's 727-347-4325. Thank you. Bye now.